Only action will allow you to get to your destination. Thinking alone will not do it. Welcome back to our channel Easy Dentistry, a channel that makes dental education incredibly easy and interesting. Please subscribe to us right now if you've not yet done and also put on the notification bell. So today's lecture is on Taurus Mandibularis. This is an important short answer question asked in exam. So, torus mandibularis is an exostosis or outgrowth of bone present on the lingual surface of the mandible. So, here you can see on the lingual surface of the mandible, these bony exostoses are present which are called as torus mandibularis. Now, the etiology, it is of unknown origin and a genetic or an ethnic background is suggested. It, is, it occurs in high frequency in mongoloid groups and in low frequency in caucasoid groups. So, Mongolians are more affected by Taurus mandibularis. A hereditary pattern of inheritance is also noted. The parents with a history of Taurus mandibularis have children with the same legion. Now, it is also suggested that torus mandibularis occurs due to reinforcement of bone in the bicuspid or the premolar region. It occurs due to torsional stresses by heavy mastication. So, torsional stresses caused due to heavy mastication causes reinforcement of bone in the premolar area resulting in torus mandibularis. Now the clinical features, it occurs mostly in the first decade of life and the age of onset is 30 years. It occurs on the lingual surface of mandible above the mylohyoid line. So it occurs above the mylohyoid line in the bicuspid or premolar region. Most of the lesions are bilateral. It may also occur unilaterally in 20% cases. The lesion may be single or there may be multiple lesions which may be lobed or lobed or uh, sorry lobed or in uh, it occur in a single form. So here you can see uh, the bilateral torus mandibularis. Here you can see the lobulated form of torus mandibularis. Now the treatment and prognosis. Treatment includes surgical removal of the lesion because denture fabrication is difficult in such cases. Now the histopathology, torus mandibularis is comp composed of dense compact bone and sometimes there may be a shell of compact bone with a center of calcellus bone. So here you can see dense compact bone in the histology of torus mandibularis. The next lecture will be on the malignant tumors of connective tissue origin. First legion we will be studying is fibrosarcoma. That's all for now. Happy studying.